Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Slim Roche here, AKA Jasmine, and I am back with another video. Today, I will be showing you guys how I achieve this protective style. These are the trendy passion twists. So if you are interested in this video, please keep on watching. So before we jump in, I wanna go ahead and address a few FAQs that I know I will get from this video. So first off, I did do the rubber band method. If you have questions about this method, the way I did it does not have any stress on my roots. Um, my hair does not feel tight at all. My roots don't feel tight. So I did do the rubber band method. Um, you will need a crochet hook um, for the way that I did this hair. So make sure you have a crochet hook like this. Um, it's like a hook and latch crochet hook. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. Um, you will need you will need some edge control. I use this entire thing of edge control. I watched plenty of videos on people doing passion twists and I was shook when they said they used the whole thing of edge control. But it is true, I see no lie. They was not lying. You gonna need a whole thing of edge control. I just used one that I had sitting around. This is the Kiss Colors and Care Argan and Macadamia Edge Fixer for naturals, maximum hold, non-flaking, non-oily. So this is the edge control that I used. And it worked very well for smoothing my hair with the twist and just making it look super shiny and blend my hair with the fake hair. Two main questions that I usually get are, do the twists untangle um, or unravel? Do they unravel? I've only had these in for two days, so. <laughs> I will try to remember to put in the comments whether or not the twist unranked, unraveled um, over the course of the time I have this in my hair. However, I will say my precaution um, so the twists do not unravel was to dip the ends in hot water and I used little cold wave rods. I wrapped it around the bottom and then it created this nice little curl. Um, and I did that for each one. So I don't think they're gonna unravel anytime soon, but I will try to keep you posted in the comments. The other question is how many twists do I have in my hair? And I thought I counted them before I started this intro, but I don't think I did, so I'm gonna start over. So we got... how many twists I got in here 35 twists total and I will say I like my I don't like heavy hair um so that's why I did my sections pretty big um I know people are gonna ask kind of how big these sections are they're roughly like a square inch a little bit bigger on the edges because my hair is not the thickest on the sides um so yeah, that is the sizing. So I have 35 twists total and each part section is about one square inch. I believe that part wraps up the FAQ. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right guys, so this is the hair that I am using for my passion twist. This is by Janet Collection, the Nala Tress passion twist braid it's 18 inches and it's in the color 1b y'all please ignore the redness of my eye i've been having contact issues um so this is the last like landing strip of hair that i have to twist and i am just going to part it at the top i did pretty much like four twist along the middle part parting is totally up to you it's a personal preference as far as whether you want straight parts box part box parts um triangle parts anything like that um for edge control i'm using the kiss colors and care 
Argan and Macadamia Edge Fixer Maximum Hold. So this is the edge control that I use while twisting my hair. So after I put edge control kind of on the perimeter of the box that I'm doing, I'm gonna take my edge brush and kind of brush that edge control in. And at the front, you wanna make sure you leave out, you know, however amount of baby hairs you want to leave out. That way you're not pulling them out after you twist your hair. So now, I don't put too much around the base of the section because I don't want to like cake up my roots with product. If you want a super sleek and clean look, you want to do that. Um, but if you want to keep your roots breathing and everything, I would not overdo it. Now I'm taking just a simple black rubber band and I am crossing it over so it's double banded on my fingers. And then I'm just going to do it three times over this section. That way I know I have the same amount of tension all the way across my head. Um, and it's not like too tight. It's just, just enough. So that's one section. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. So now that we have that whole part section off, I'm gonna start with this first one up front. So this is my hair. My hair has been moisturized um, before I stretched it. I started off with stretched hair, so I blow dried my entire head before starting my parting process and um, doing any of the twists. And so what I'm gonna do is just un twist from the top and that's where your crochet hook is and then I'm just separating this twist all the way down. Um, you can use one twist. I for the most part alternated between one and two twists for um, each twist on my head. One is enough to give you like a fluffy twist but if you have like a section that has a thicker amount of hair you might want to do two. So for this one specifically, I think I'm going to stick with one since it's at the front of my head and my hair is not as dense. So you will need a crochet needle. And I'm going to try to show you guys as best as I can. So I am putting that crochet hook through underneath the rubber band, hooking on the hair. So you want to make sure all the hair is on the hook right here. Then you're gonna close the latch. Mind you, I still have my two fingers separating this hair. We're pulling it through. While keeping the two ends separate, you wanna grab one of the ends and pull it through the loop that you just pulled through with the crochet hook. And then you're gonna pull it tight, which is gonna kinda create a knot at the top of your hair. Not a knot in your hair but it's just going to secure the um, weave you don't want to pull it too tight or you'll move the rubber band if you do that on accident all you have to do is separate your real hair with each side and then pull it gently to tighten the rubber band back up now i'm taking some of that kiss um, edge control and i am just twisting my hair very tightly and just smoothing that edge control on my hair with the weave as I go down. So the key is to keeping your twist tight and I learned while doing this if you twist, I twist, I usually twist towards the right. Um, but for some reason, the twist looks super loose once I finish them. So I tried twisting to the left, which is not the usual way that I twist. 
and it looked uh, it looks a lot tighter in my hair blends a lot more by me twisting it this way i don't know if it's just my my mental thinking that that's the difference in the the direction that i'm twisting um but so once i get down past where my hair stops i start twisting as if i'm wrapping a faux lock this just speeds up the process one and then two, I'll show you when I let go, because when you wrap a faux lock, it's really just a twist, but you're just flattening the hair, so it's wrapping it. Anyway, once I get towards the end of that last little piece, I hold it right there, and then I kind of let the twist unravel slowly while my finger's still there. And then when you let go, you have like that kind of twisty feel to the end of your twist that deems it a passion twist. Um, so you can leave it like this and by you holding right here, it kind of like locks that in. But what I wanted to do to make sure my twist don't come undone, I'm taking a gray small perm rod and I am just wrapping the ends on this perm rod. And then we're gonna dip it in boiling hot water. Make sure when you dip your hair like this into the water that it is hot because if it's not like boiling hot, then it's gonna kind of straighten the hair. Now, as you can see, this one has two and this one only has one. So you can kind of see the size difference in the twist. Um, but if you have like different sizes, it kind of helps uh, with like the variance of your twist. Like it doesn't look as uniform, which I kind of like that. Although these say 18 inches, they go pretty much down to my lower back. So it's, I think it's 18 inches if the hair wasn't like staggered. So now I'm going to go and dip these last four with the perm rods. I'm going to dip these in some boiling hot water and I'll be right back. So you want to kind of dab all of that excess water off and then you'll be able to take it down and you have these beautiful curls at the end and not only do you have the curls but it helps you secure the ends of your twist this is how my hair looks right now um, before I put in any jewels Ooh, look at these twists this will be like the perfect twist out if this was all my hair <laughs> Same on this side, and then as you get towards the bottom, you got like your curls situation going on. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. This one's flipped over a little weird because I think I am digging the, you know, flip all of them over to one side. I think that's how I'm going to wear them. So this is what the twist look like up close. Come on, light in. Oh yes, girl, you look good. You look great. Hey, you look good. Oh, you look great. Hey, I'm gonna show y'all the back. The bottom row only has four twists. Think. yeah and then the next row has a little bit more but as you can see like it looks full even though it's not like a lot of twists and the pro to doing it this way is you don't use that much hair I only used two and a half packs of hair 
dead serious. I only use two and a half packs of hair, which most tutorials I've watched on Passion Twist, they use seven packs of hair. Now, if you want your twist to be smaller and everything, because you definitely can use like one twist, like this one that I have right here, this big one, I use one twist for it. But you could part this one section into four smaller twists and use four twists. So it just depends on how you part your hair, how much hair you're going to use. But it's good to know that you can still use the same amount of hair pretty much per twist using bigger sections. Now that all depends on the density of your hair. If your hair is super thick, then you might have to do two twists for one twist on your head, you might have to use two of these. Um, so it just depends on how dense your hair is. So as you can see, if you want to just crochet this in your hair, it is ready to go. It's twisted all the way down and then it has a little curl at the bottom. So you can literally just like crochet this in your head and have your passion twist, um, which I think is super cute and it will probably be quicker than what I did. I started my hair around 8 p.m. and I finished around 12 o'clock. Took a few breaks to eat dinner and eat a little dessert. But other than that, like it did not take that long for me to do it. Yeah, that's a four hour span. However, I was multitasking. So I started off with stretched hair. I blow dried my hair. Um, because that's the best way to get your hair to blend with this curl because if you're especially if your curl pattern is way tighter than this um, blowing stretching out your hair blow drying your hair is gonna help blend with these twists so I'm gonna count how many come in a pack so you can kind of guesstimate so say if you part your hair or you know how many sections you're gonna have in your hair so I have 35 I'm gonna count how many come in a pack. Hey, okay, that's what I thought. 15, 15 twists come in a pack. Again, I'm gonna show you the hair so you can see what it looks like in all its glory in the ends. 15 twists come in a pack. So for me to have 35 in my head, I use pretty much two and a half packs. I only have four individual twists left over from that third pack of hair that I opened. So that means I use 15, two, three, four, minus 15, 11, 30, 41. Y'all, this whole video got me in math class. I use 41 twists total. So having 35 twists on my head and using 41 pieces, I doubled up on a few, majority in the top of my head, um, where I have more density in my hair. But I think that's all you guys need to know about this hair, about the twist. I love the pattern of the twist. Although this is only day two, I'm really liking the hairstyle. Um, it's very lightweight, um, especially transitioning into fall. Like, it's not too hot to have this style. Um, but also, as it starts cooling down, it can kind of keep you warm a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. Again, shout out to Janet Collection for partnering with me for this video. Um, I will try and update you guys in the comments about the wearability of the hair over the time span that I have these twists in. You know, I don't keep protective styles in that long, but I might have to keep this one because I like it. I really do. Um, so y'all let me know in the comments whether you like this hairstyle. If you've tried out Janet Collections hair before or their passion twist hair, let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're watching this far, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Join the gym squad. We would love to have you here. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Um, and that's it for this video, guys. Y'all know, never forget at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself and be you, Tipple. <laughs> Bye, guys.